everybody. I am here to discuss with you the art of pattern matching. Uh, it's something a lot of you have asked me about and it's something that I love to do as you probably know if you're watching this video. Um, I would like to tell you the story of this dress which is completely relevant to this episode. Um, I was once in the park and a friend took a photo of me. I published it on Instagram. In the photo I am wearing a pair of um, clogs in animalier um, leopard print. I'm wearing those socks uh, with a tree on it, on, on them. And I'm wearing a pair of camouflage pants. My supplier saw the photo, got inspired, and decided to create a fabric out of that look of mine uh, without telling me. And then he showed it to me. And here you can totally see the relevance. You can see the clogs relevance. You can see the socks the tree on the socks and you can see the colors which are uh, which recall the, the camouflage pants we decided then to create this dress as a result of the idea that he had and this is the result i love the fact that a casual day in the park turns into an evening dress basically so i hope you will enjoy this episode um i'm going to show you a few examples hi uh Look at me. OTT factor. I know sometimes it can be interpreted that way. In this case, it is particularly so. The reason being is I've added a color that apparently doesn't really have anything to do with the pants. And also I have these very garish um, gold boots. The reason why I put this stuff together is the orange on the boot picks up on the um, rusty orange of the trouser, that is my connection. Plus, you know that I love a gold boot, I love a metallic shoe, I think it always gives some pizzazz to the outfit. The rust of the trouser, again, echoes the color of the color. Okay, so the off color, that apparently has nothing to do with the rest, is actually this lilac -y purple. Again, the off-white of the check picks up on the off-white of the pant. That's what pulls it all in together. I often uh, think that a block color can diminish the OTT effect. And for that matter, I have worn a very simple round neck jumper, which obviously picks up on the trouser colors and then is cut off by this. So it's up to you. Already you can see if I walk around like that, it's less a slap in your face kind of look. Do you get it? Do you like it? So here I am. I would say a typical Milanese lady and I'd love to see your faces when I'm saying that. So I know again, you know, but this is about pattern guys, don't forget. So there's a lot going on here. However, I have my proper bag, as beautiful as it may be, proper it is. I have a very proper, legit shirt. You could wear this to the office and of course then I matched it and paired it with prints so we have flora and fauna which is a trick I always like to play I've uh, I've worked with um, yellow here is the common denominator obviously uh, the green is a new um, is a new color in the in the whole scenario and then again um, on top of the flora and fauna concept, which is part of my mental storytelling, there's always some storytelling within my aesthetical styling choices. Uh, it's, it's very uh, relevant in terms of, uh, of colors. So I think this looks worked um, really well. If you close your coat, you're slightly more composed. Okay. However, I'm going to show you an alternative uh, pattern. If you want to rock and roll it more, if you want to get take away the kind of well put together uh, situation, you just wear an over maxi jumper, which again picks up on the colors of the pants. It creates a completely different scenario, a completely different situation, a completely different woman. Okay, so this is this this is the would be scenario. Okay, I decide I want to wear the skirt. So I go into my um, jumpers, in my, into my tops, and I start looking for colors that are relevant. In this case, I could have worn a blue shirt, a turquoise shirt, a fuchsia shirt, a purple shirt. You can see, I could have worn any plain color whatsoever. But then, 
I bump into this, and it so happens to have the same colors as the skirt. And so I go nuts, literally. I start speaking to myself, going, oh my God, oh my God, this is so juicy, this is so exciting, whatever. This is exactly the scenario, and I'm not kidding you guys. And then of course I don't stop there at that point because I'm rolling. So I look for the belt that would go and voila, this is a perfect belt. Again, it picks up on all the colors and it even has the link with the black, which is pertinent. And then I need a coat, right? So what do I do? I find this thing. And as much as I know, and I admit, this is completely over the top. Tell me, I mean, I'm getting goosebumps as I'm talking to you, literally. Tell me it isn't just completely divine. And in order to give this look a certain edge, but at the same time, a kind of sense of order, I put boots and they're white. Because I think a white shoe is always such an amazing fit. Happy-go-lucky, 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 like in a good mood, kind of la vita bella, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if it's for winter, maybe it's dark and it's snowing. You just put this outfit together and really la vita bella, are you with me? Now, the good thing about this outfit and this pattern matching, which is what we're talking about, is not only the evident uh, link between the colors, because we're talking fuchsias and burgundies, and uh, yellows and oranges. Here there's an, a green um, interaction which adds uh, a, another color to the mix, plus um, a bag that has a turquoise and is geometric as is the jumper. However, we have a complete story of flowers here. And that to me is the little storytelling in my head. So we have flowers, which funnily enough are the same flower. We have roses, we have roses, and you'd say, okay, she's wearing a tartan coat, but look what's inside. So it's a flower story. Flower power. So I am very, should I say formal? Here a matching pattern with pattern, and I'm doing a little game that I love to play, which is the twin set game. As you remember, twin sets used to be you know, in cashmere, short sleeve sweater, and the matching cardigan on top. So I always like to take that a step further, or a few steps further, and this is actually good because it's a day look, so you have the trench coat matching the pants. So it's pattern on pattern, color on color, broken up, by a, what I would say, it's a matching shirt, a shirt. As you can see, it's not particularly garish, but I think it works super well. I've matched it uh, with a metallic boot just to give it an edge. Um, and uh, I, I often like also to add accessories that, doesn't, that don't seem particularly pertinent. Uh, something like this. So here you have uh, the play with the check again, because as you can see, it doesn't really go at all. And yet, I think a detail that doesn't match is always super interesting. Should you wish to continue with the nuance and yet keep on playing with patterns, you could also wear a sweater. So you're more tonal, yet there's always the game of the horizontal stripe and the check, which is a classical, uh, trick in a particular thing, love Did you enjoy this episode? I really hope you did as much as I did. I urge you to dare to start pattern matching if you're not already doing so as of now. Have fun!